10 largest projects to be completed by William Ruto. Kenya's economy is the largest in East and Central Africa, with an average annual growth rate of 5% over the last eight years, despite the global recession. According to the African Development Bank, the Kenyan economy will grow by 5.7% in 2023, one of the fastest rates in the year. Kenya's economic growth has been impressive in comparison to many other African countries over the last decade. This expansion is attributed to increased investment and development in the country, as well as robust domestic demand from private consumption and government investment in infrastructure such as power plants, ports, and social amenities. As Kenya strives to maintain its position as East Africa's business hub and one of Africa's major economies, infrastructure development is unavoidable. This is due to the importance of infrastructure in the development of any country. In this video, we will look at the 10 largest projects that the new Kenyan president, William Ruto, plans to complete. Please let us know what you think of this video in the comment section. Also, remember to subscribe to Africa Reloaded for more videos. 10. Nairobi Bharati Project In 2019, as a strategy to alleviate traffic congestion in the city, the Nairobi Metropolitan Transport Authority proposed a bus rapid transit system. Nairobi Barret is a mass transit system with five lines that serves Nairobi City County, as well as the neighboring counties of Kiambu, Kogyardo, Machekos, and Marangar. Because the city is concerned about the environment, the city's BRT buses will be modern and electric, with 160 seats. The buses will operate on dedicated lanes, a right-of-way that will allow them to travel faster than existing fossil fuel buses. The BRT system is expected to provide a dependable, safe, and comfortable system for city residents, as well as an affordable mode of transportation. 9. Nairobi Railway City Nairobi Railway City is an iconic multimodal urban development spread across 425 acres. The proposed Nairobi Railway City Master Plan, which seeks to expand and decongest the central business district, includes a new railway station, a lush golf course close to the Upper Hill Business District, a large open park, key heritage sites, and industrial zones. The Nairobi Central Railway Station area's strategic location perfectly positions it to be an iconic nerve center for Nairobi's multimodal transport system, with a world-class new Central Railway Station incorporating mixed-use commercial developments such as hotels and intermodal facilities. Through the provision of an inclusive new Central Economic Zone, an integrated multimodal hub, and iconic urban space, the project is expected to increase Nairobi's revenue base and create a larger central business district. The Nairobi Railway City is being developed by the UK firm Atkins Global, which was chosen following a meeting in January 2020 between former Kenyan President Yuru Kenyatta and former UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson. 8. Tanzania-Kenya Gas Pipeline Tanzania's and Kenya's presidents have agreed to expedite the construction of a natural gas pipeline that will increase trade between the two countries, lower energy costs, and lower Kenya's production costs. This agreement was reached in October 2022 in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, during Kenyan President William Ruto's first visit to Tanzania as head of state. The gas pipeline will transport gas from southern Tanzania, where massive natural gas reserves have been discovered, to Dar es Salaam via the already existing gas pipeline. The new pipeline will then transport gas from Dar es Salaam to Mombasa and will eventually reach Kenya's capital, Nairobi. The 600-kilometer-long gas pipeline is expected to cost Kenya more than $1 billion. 7. Malindi Bagamoyo Highway The Malindi Bagamoyo Highway, also known as the Coastline Transnational Highway, connects the cities of Malindi and Mombasa in Kenya and Tanga and Bagamoyo in Tanzania. The road begins in Malindi, Kenya and travels south for 110 kilometers to Mombasa. This section of the road is officially designated as part of Route B8, a national trunk road. The road then continues south for 106 kilometers from the town of Lunga Lunga to the Tanzanian border. The highway, which will cost $751 million, 
is expected to improve cross-border trade, tourism, socioeconomic development, and regional integration. 6. Mombasa Nairobi Expressway Following the completion of feasibility studies, the Kenyan government recently announced that plans for the Mombasa Nairobi Expressway are well underway. The Korean Overseas Infrastructure and Urban Development Corporation conducted feasibility studies for the project, focusing on demand projections, traffic projections, and affordability projections. The four-lane highway connects Nairobi, Kenya's capital city, to Mombasa, Kenya's largest seaport and second largest city. The 482-kilometer Mombasa Nairobi Expressway begins at Jitaro along the Nairobi Nakuru Highway and continues southeast from Jitaru in Kambu County to join the existing Nairobi Mombasa Road north of Kanza Town. The high speed road is a key growth driver for improving transportation infrastructure and economic development along Kenya's Nairobi Mombasa corridor, which handles more than 95% of cargo from Mombasa's seaport. This expressway costs more than $2, 7 billion. 5. Kenya Geothermal Energy Projects Kenya is Africa's largest producer of geothermal energy and the world's eighth. In six years, the East African country increased its output from 168 to 821 megawatts. Kenya has an estimated geothermal potential of 10,000 megawatts, making it an excellent candidate for geothermal energy development. Kenya's first geothermal site opened in 1984 in the region of Old Carrier, about 150 miles from the country's capital, Nairobi. Kenya is currently working to expand its 23 sites, only four of which have deep wells. While geothermal power plants in Old Carrier currently have a generation capacity of around 700 megawatts and can power nearby major cities, geologists hope to more than double their impact by 2025. 4. Kenya Mega Dams Kenya's most ambitious dam-building mission is underway, as the country seeks to address water scarcity while also improving food security and hydropower generation. The Kenyan government is constructing at least five mega dams at a cost of more than $1.4 billion through various state agencies. The dams include the Thwake Dam on the border of Makwini and Kitua counties, which costs $692 million. Iter Dam in Nakuru, which costs $255 million. Kirimiyu Dam, which costs $218 million. Fiver Dam in Kiriniaga, which costs $145 million. Muruni Dam in West Pokot, which costs $45 million, and a $10 million dam in Nyeri. The country's Ministry of Water and Sanitation has also signed contracts for the construction of dams worth $182 million in Bumat, $154 million in Kiambu, and $182 million in Kola County. The government also intends to spend billions of dollars to build dams in the counties of Kusumu, Kariko, Kiambu, and Nyantarua. 3. Kenya SGR this is a standard gauge railway system that will connect Kenyan cities and connect the country to neighboring Uganda, as well as South Sudan, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Rwanda, and Burundi via Uganda. The first phase of the project involved the construction of a 480-kilometer-long railway line between Mombasa and Nairobi, which was later extended to Naivasha town in phase two via a 120-kilometer-long railway line. The new standard gauge railways were designed to replace the inefficient old railway system with a modern, faster, and more cost-effective SGR line. 2. Lapset The Lapset Corridor Project, also known as the Lamo Corridor Project, is a Kenyan transportation and infrastructure project that, when completed, will be the country's second transportation corridor. The Mombasa-Uganda Transport Corridor, which runs through Nairobi and much of the northern Rift Valley, is Kenya's other transport corridor. Kenya, Ethiopia, and South Sudan are all involved in the project. This megaproject consists of seven key infrastructure projects, beginning with a new 32-berth port at Lamo in Kenya, 
followed by interregional highways from Lamo to Iziolo, Iziolo to Juba in South Sudan, Iziolo to Addis Abeba in Ethiopia, and Lamo to Gassan in Kenya. A crude oil pipeline from Lamo to Iziolo, Iziolo to Juba, and a product oil pipeline from Lamo to Iziolo and Iziolo to Addis Abeba are also part of the project. The Lapset Corridor project is being spearheaded by Kenya. The completion of the Lapset project will strengthen Kenya's position as the region's gateway to East Africa. 1. Kanza Technopolis Kanza Technology City is an upcoming smart city project in Machakos County. The project is part of the country's Vision 2030 blueprint and is expected to create approximately 17,000 direct and indirect jobs once completed. The project, which is located 64 kilometers south of Nairobi, is modeled after Silicon Valley in the United States, hence the Monaco African Silicon Savannah. It is primarily aimed at business process outsourcing, software development, data centers, disaster recovery, call centers, light manufacturing industries, and research institutions. Kanza Technopolis will cost more than $14 billion. Thank you for sticking with Africa Reloaded until the end. By the way, let us know what you think in the comments section. Will President Ruto finish these projects or not? Please subscribe and enable notifications for more great updates. And remember to like and share this video.